Hello everyone, this is Samirin, and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the Context Button Assigner. It is a great new tool that they've introduced into the game, and what it does is it allows you to provide or to put an action onto a townsperson or other objects. And what I mean by that is normally you can just walk up to a townsperson and you can pick them up and toss them around, that's about it. But this will actually replace the pickup option on a townsperson and replace it with whatever text you want, really. And then when the player interacts with that object, something will happen. So we're actually going to drop our friend Mighty Jidus right here. We're going to tell her to stand still because it's easier that way. And we are going to make a new actor connection from this context button assigner. And let's just make it say talk. There we go. Show button prompt. Here's the properties. Uh, use to find duration. You could make it only last for so long, uh, just like regular text which we're not going to do, show button prompt. Yes, I obviously want that to happen. Button prompt location. This we have to change to connected actor to put the prompt over her head and deactivate prompt when pressed. You can turn it to off so it's always there, but I'm going to leave it on for now. And we are going to Turn off the fireworks generator. These are actually pretty fun, these new ones. And we're going to set it up so that when the uh, button over the player's or over Mighty Judge's head has been hit by whoever hits it, we're going to send a large Disney Infinity. Let's go white. Now, there's one more step here. You have to activate that uh, context button assigner. They will do not turn on automatically. So at some point, some way, you have to turn it on. Now, what I just selected there was trigger and player. What that means is that button will only show up if I had three players in the box and I push this button. I'd be the only one who would see her talk show over her head. I could set it to all players. I can... There's all sorts of options you can do in that circumstance. But here we see a talk button has popped up over her head instead of the push option. And now when I click the talk button, the fireworks goes off. Simple enough. Now if you noticed, there were only two main options here, connected actor and player. And I'm going to show you how you can make other objects appear to have uh, a context button assigned to them. So we're just going to clear all that. I don't know why I got rid of the button. And I definitely didn't want to summon R2. But it happened, so we'll go with it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put down a door. And we're going to put a context button over that door that will say knock. I'm just setting this button up to close that door so it won't just automatically open every time my player goes near it. So, button stays closed. Perfect. Now, what we can do here, and I'm going to show you how I program quite often, just to give you some ideas on how you can make things look a lot better. I'm going to put a locator right in the middle of that door and I'm going to use one of the other new tools, the dynamic trigger. And I'm going to hook it up to that locator. And I'm going to say anything that comes within distance of three of the locator will fire off a signal. I'm also going to use a few of my best friends here, logic gates, 
They're my best friends, but I don't even know where they are. There they are. I'm going to put two logic gates down here. And the reason why is because I'm going to make it so that uh, the first time you knock on the door, nothing's going to happen. You have to actually do something in the box. And then when you knock on the door, it'll open. But I also want to set it up so that once this door is open, next time I come near the door, I don't want it to say knock anymore. I, I want that to stop. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send... If a player enters that trigger area, I'm going to send an input to that logic gate. And his output will activate this context button assigner. And I'm going to activate it over the triggering player. The reason I'll do that is it will almost look like it's beside the door, the knock word. And I will assign that to say knock. And I want that to be over the player. Excellent. Now, when the player leaves the distance of three, I want to turn, I want to deactivate the context button assigner so that the phrase not goes away just by walking away from it. Now, when it's pressed, I want to send input to this second logic gate so that once a certain action has occurred, uh, by default, nothing will happen. It's only after I press this button that that door will be allowed to open. So I'm going to say if I press that button, I will close that logic gate. If there's an input block, I'm going to open that door. And just to get super, super complicated, but to make it look good, if that door opens, close that logic gate. Which means now, every time you go near this dynamic trigger, uh, the input block does not go to this context button assigner, so therefore it won't activate anymore once the door is opened. This is the long and short, and hopefully this should work well. So we're going to walk over here, and you'll see the word knock appears. If I walk away, it goes away because of the dynamic trigger I set up. Now, I'm going to knock, and nothing's going to happen. Actually, just to show why not? On an output, or the default thing, I'll just do an orange flower. Orange flower. Walk away, come back up, orange flower. And now I'm going to push this button to simulate I've done whatever in the box I needed to do for this knock to actually work. And when I come close, it'll say knock, and the door opens. And now, because that second logic gate, whenever I approach, I'm no longer getting that button prompt. So that's how I would set it up myself in order to interact with objects. Uh, but you can use that context button assigner, obviously, however you want to. So again, this has been Samirian. I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and have yourselves a wonderful day.